Hey everyone, Sarah here. So, I just thought I'd put a little video up. Um, basically what's going on, I'm slowed down on videos because I've just been extremely busy and my anxiety is through the roof. And I just thought maybe I'd take the opportunity to explain a little bit of that. Um, so first off, my story of the fire. In 2000, I was burnt in a house fire. I lost my boyfriend and his two-year-old son. And I was burnt um, over 65% of my body. I spent six months in a drug-induced coma and um, four and a half years in a wheelchair. So I finally had a massive surgery on both feet where they actually had to cement my foot and my ankle. So where your foot goes like this, mine just stays like that. So walking, you can imagine, is not very easy sometimes. Um, physically, it's just, it's just hard, but mentally it's the hardest. And I do have severe depression, and I have severe anxiety, and my anxiety is actually the worst. Um, is some days it's like I can't even function. I, I The weight of everything is just too much. Um, now, it was an apartment building. I lived on the third floor, and the second floor caught on fire. They were cooking drugs. They passed out left a candle that they were using unattended which fell on a mattress and lit the place up and this happened almost 15 years ago it was november th um 18 2000 well since then i have not lived in an apartment i wouldn't even stay like at my father's who lived in an apartment i just i couldn't do it and recently about well, six months ago we moved and it's an apartment and not only that it's the second and third floor is my apartment and I get two other people underneath me so my anxiety and my PTSD has been back a hundred percent um you know it, it's been very hard for me and oh I'm very sorry about that some people I think understand that yeah, it's been 14 years, but I haven't been in a building, an apartment building, where I have to relive those memories every day and live in fear again. And, um, so it gets very overwhelming for me, and it, it's, I started my YouTube channel to help me, and it, it has it's helped me tremendously, um, you know, it keeps my mind focused. I'm always thinking, what should I do next and everything. Um, unfortunately, this week I just got so much going on. So I'm probably not going to have as many videos up this week as I usually would. But I will be back hopefully next week with many more. Um, I'm still going to try to squeeze a few more in this week if I can. But it's just... Basically, this is just like me ranting or raving or whatever you want to call it. But... I don't know, I just, you know, here it is, um, you know, 10 minutes to 12, and I'm still, I'm, I'm exhausted, but I can't sleep, every time I go to, go to sleep, I can't sleep, and it's like this every day, then I'm up early, and I do the whole day, and, I mean, I think I'm just so tired of being tired, I'm always tired. And part of that is I can't sleep in the, in the apartment. I just, and I don't think everybody understands the, the weight of it. I'm so sorry. I keep yelling. They're so rude. Um, you know, for instance, this apartment has gas heat and gas stove, and I never had that. And it was very hard to get used to with the flame on the stove. And like the first time I used the heater, my boyfriend didn't tell me that flames were going to come up from the bottom, which I didn't, just wasn't thinking. So I turned it up and it comes up and I like panicked. And um, I was doing really good with all, like I was, I was able to use a grill and you know, that didn't bother me. Now I smell a grill and I go into a half panic. So it, it seems like I'm regressing here. So, um, 
just the last six months have gotten so bad, it's, it, it is pretty bad, so we're actually looking to move again, because of me, <laughs> um, I mean, it's a huge apartment, it's four bedrooms and everything, that's not the deal, it's just, I just can't do, maybe, maybe a first floor I could or something, but not with people underneath me. And even though technically this is labeled the second floor, there's a basement apartment on first floor and then me. So there's still two tenants underneath me. So in my mind, it's still, I won't even go upstairs on the third floor. I, I can't, I just can't even go up there. So I just, I don't know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, you know, just basically, that's my story, I mean, nobody's had a perfect life, people have things happen to them, and you gotta deal with it, and I don't care what you've been through, some days are gonna be better than others, and, yeah, it's been a long time for me, but, some things make you feel like it was just yesterday. And being in an apartment has definitely been the hardest and most crippling thing I've had to go through. Because um, campfires was had to just because open flame was had, but even that was because it wasn't the cause of the fire. Maybe that's why, but none of that was as hard as being in this apartment. Being in this apartment, I just feel like I'm regressing to the point where... I'm, I'm of no use to anybody, you know, like I said, I stay up all night long, and, like, for instance, my mother picks me up the other day, we have, like, an hour drive, and within five minutes, I'm sound asleep in the car, and she's like, well, you're much for company, I'm like, I'm sorry, you know, and, and it's true, as soon as I'm comfortable somewhere, I'll fall asleep, <laughs> you know, like, we'll all go have family movie night. I, I'm gonna sleep within two minutes, you know. When I come here, I'll be up all night staring at the ceiling. And I think one of my dogs has a can. I can hear him. <sighs> but, um, I don't know. That's just some of my issues. I don't know why, but I just felt like sharing with you guys. Um, but I do have a lot going on this week. And so please bear with me if there's not as many videos. Um, but there will be coming soon. Got a lot of ideas. Um, Blizzard and Hurricane have been giving me ideas too, because they're addicted to making videos now. <laughs> so, and if it makes them happy, they, it makes me happy, which is one of the only things that does lately. So that's good. I'm glad we can all share that. And so yeah, there'll be a lot coming up. I'm gonna go because I don't want to keep yawning in your face because that's rude and try to calm my dogs down because I do have neighbors um they're so young they just turned a year old so they get this way every night like they'll right before bed they'll get like wicked wicked hype I run around and then they sleep all night so for the most part unless somebody is outside screwed around in the middle of the night oh so sorry but yeah, I have severe insomnia, so I'm up most nights. That's usually when I'm writing, you know, what videos to do and ideas, and which probably doesn't help it because if I could just shut my mind off, I'd probably go to sleep better. But what can you do? So if you're ever up late and you see and you want to send me a message, feel free. Most likely I'll be on. I can't guarantee always because I do try to go to sleep. Um, I actually just took some medicine. Which is why I'm yawning so bad. Because I've actually been extremely sick as well. So <coughs> um, hopefully I will sleep tonight. But... Yeah, so this is just like a little vlog, just explaining a little bit more into my story, and I'm just, I don't know, that's it. So, hopefully, I'll be back on track with lots more videos, and please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.